Hello, everybody. It's Dave Neal, stand-up comic and host of Bachelor Nation News. We have another Golden Bachelor story to get to today. Gary admits to spoiling the ending. No, not for us, for his winner there, Teresa. So if you haven't watched last night's episode, you just got spoiled. But, like, what are you supposed to do? The episode was on last night. Spoilers don't exist. Once it airs live, you have to be the one in control of your destiny and not going on YouTube. I hate when people say, oh, Dave, I, I, I didn't know anybody better and you spoiled it so, sorry folks follow me on instagram at dneals patreon.com slash dave neal for our behind the scenes bonus content i'll be live at the 10 a.m hour this morning in bachelor rush hour the hit podcast i got your morning edition i got your afternoon edition uh to work from work we're gonna party uh like it's going out of style on this morning's bachelor rush hour we introduced our first christmas song of the year so if you want some christmas joy and some feel good spirit go to bachelor rush hour all right Let's jump into it. I've got two different people articles for you here because why not, right? Who wants one people.com article when you can get as many as possible? That's what I that's what I say about my videos. Why have one good video when I can give you five mediocre? Uh, bachelor Golden Bachelor Gary Turner told fiance in the fantasy suite he planned to propose. I was very confident, which is interesting because, and again, correct me if I'm wrong here, didn't he have, and I know the the edited version is not always what actually happened, didn't he actually have Teresa on first and then have Leslie? And, and wasn't he looking back on his date with Leslie thinking that he, or do I have it the other way around? No, I'm sorry, I have it the other way around. Leslie was first, right? Okay, geez, what do I know? Turner got engaged to Teresa on Thursday's season finale of The Golden Bachelor, and they announced they'll be getting married on January 4th. Yeah, the only Bachelor person to get married faster after an engagement was Maddie Pruitt, uh, but that was worth the wait. You can't say worth the wait when the wait was only like a month because you had a billion-dollar budget, you know? Worth the wait is when it takes three years. That's a wait. On Thursday's finale of The Golden Bachelor, Gary Turner proposed to Teresa, and she said yes and then the pair announced they'll be getting married live on abc on january 4th gary 72 years young tells people he actually informed Teresa, 70 years old in the fantasy suite that he planned to pop the question part of part of the conversation in the should i do his impression part of the com no, i can't do it uh just kermit the kermit de frog part of our conversation with the fan in the fantasy suites was the first time really that i seriously told her that i loved her Gary says. It was almost an announcement of excitement. I said it three times in a row. Teresa, I love you. I love you. I love you. And I go, and I'm going to ask you to marry me. I don't know if you're going to say yes, but I'm going to ask you. So for me, when I got to the final episode and the engagement was about to happen, I was very confident that she was my person. 100% confident. And here are the people exclusive photos. Very cute couple, close in age. You know, everyone, oh man, I tell you, some of the comments out there are brutal, uh, which I'll get to in a second here. But I, I you know, I've, I've, I've done my due diligence to support Gary. I hope he knows we are on the front lines of the pro Gary Turner fan club here. While the retired restaurateur entered the final, fe the finale feed, feeling confident that she was going to say yes to me. He acknowledges that Teresa didn't quite have the whole story going into proposal day. When she came down the walkway, she didn't know if she was the first person making that walk or the second person or the only person, Gary says. Teresa didn't know that Gary already sent home fellow finalist Leslie. Not once did I think I was the only person, Teresa tells people. Even with the heads up from Gary, Teresa felt some hesitancy heading into the finale. I was confident, but then let's see actually if this really happens. Of course it did, and Teresa and Gary ended the inaugural goal Golden Bachelor season engaged with plans to tie the knot in January. Teresa says that a lot of what went down in the fantasy suite led her and Gary to that point. What they didn't see in the fantasy suite was everything. When he presented me with the fantasy suite card, I was so enthusiastically accepting it because I really wanted to go in and delve deeper. And that's what we did. It was the first time I really showed my true personality to him. Oh, Teresa. He did know, but not as in depth. The fantasy suite proved just as pivotal for Gary. In my head, I had the checklist of four or five things that I got to know this stuff. And so she accepted to go into the fantasy suite in those four or five things before I even had a chance to ask them. She was like spouting it out there. She was like, okay, and this is going to happen. And I want you to know this and this. And it's like, oh my gee, we are exactly on the same page. Teresa says it just clicked. 
After that episode, I called Teresa on the phone and I said, you know, I just watched myself fall in love with you, Gary says. Teresa, however, says she started catching feelings for Gary right out of the limo. I walked out of that limo not knowing or not expecting anything, just that there's a great adventure and maybe there would be love. But getting out of that limo, I stood next to him and I went, oh my gee, I'm so attracted to this man. I'm in real trouble. I got butterflies immediately. She got my attention when I had the physical reaction to her putting her hand on my shoulder when we were in the Corvette, Gary said says the headlights were failing and so forth and I was really nervous and she put her hand on my shoulder and I could physically feel the tension drain out of me and it's like okay now I know that I really need to really pay close attention to this person oh wasn't that a sweet moment when the headlights went out on the Corvette not because they almost got in a terrible accident on the highway you know he's like a guy from the Midwest with you know, not much traffic where he lives, probably doesn't go on the highway often, he gets from A to B, and then all of a sudden he's in the big city with the big lights. We were both able to talk nonstop and look at each other. You know, I kind of want to go to that to that place tonight. Do you guys know what diner that was? I tell you what, follow me on Instagram. Tasha, you want to go to this diner tonight? She say yes? Let's go to that. Let's. We're going to do that. Follow me on Instagram. Tonight, I'm doing it. I'm taking my lady with the headlights on to that diner, and maybe they'll sing and dance for us, too. Let's recreate Gary's love. Uh, we have a baby on the way. We'll have to see if Gary and Teresa do as well. Uh, uh, anyway, he said, we were both able to talk nonstop and look at each other and still hear what the other person had to say. I got home that night. It's like, that was pretty amazing. Usually, you don't listen to the other person. And I was generally listening, and I couldn't shut up. It was great. Although Gary still had a whole pool of women left at that point, I would keep going back and thinking of her. There's a certain quality about Teresa that whenever I hear her voice, whether it's in the background or on the phone, I almost chuckle because I know she's enthusiastic about whatever it is she's doing. Teresa admires similar qualities in Gary. He is so positive and outgoing and dynamic and has ambition and drive and is exciting. He wants to have a really great life and he's excited about every single moment of his life and I am too. We have a lot of fun and it's better and better every time we talk. We both know we made the right decision. There it is, folks. Gary Turner. Oh, they have a video too. <laughs> Finally, it's been such a long time. They took this away from me so quickly. <laughs> yeah. All right, so uh, we can't really share all of this, but let's see if they have moments from their photo shoot. Yeah, they, it couldn't have been better. Like they would, they were just so excited about him, and so when I, oh my gosh, when I came home, and my, my daughter's really the only one young who really knows what happened, and she's, and I was in the airport, and she's going, and I gave a really cryptic message, like I'm home. And it was like dead. It was like nothing. And she's going, well, well, well. And I said, I can't really say anything like right now. I get into the Uber, or what was it? And I just wrote back, yes. She goes, yes, yes. <laughs> All right, so good to know there. We'll share some more clips of this on today's podcast, Bachelor Rush Hour on the Afternoon Edition. We can't share that video on YouTube just because of copyright violations. People is pretty strict there. Gary Turner and Teresa share their vision for their January wedding. It's going to be spectacular. All right, so let's see what they have to say about the upcoming wedding, January 4th, 2024. 1424. We have daughters who are so involved, Teresa tells people in a joint interview. My daughter, she's seen a million weddings and she is incredible. She's put together the vision board. She's asking me, do you like this? Do you like this? And I go, wow, okay. I don't even have to do this. This is awesome. She's handling it pretty much. Oh yeah, uh, credit for Teresa's daughter there. Gary ha happily handed over the reins to Teresa and her daughter, Jen. I can just hear the joy in her voice when I talk to her, and she's talking about whether it's a dress or a cake or flowers or what it is. It makes me so happy that she's having this much of a good time with it. It's like, what could be more fun? Well, the question that I guess we have to ask here is, what did we learn from Golden Bachelor? I think the answer is what we learned with humans is that while we do you know, mature with age, I think our soul stays the relative same age. I, I, I truly do. So even though we see people whose collagen might not be as strong as it was in their 20s, their wrinkles are showing, their love lines are this, you, you, you decrease your muscle mass, all these normal things that come with age. When you strip it down, you see two people, pretty young at heart, looking for love and finding it in each other. And that's a powerful thing. And I think if the show set out, set out to prove... Uh, that we could normalize a love story 
with a generation that's older than the one they normally share. I think they I think they prove that with flying colors. And it's not too often we give the producers of the show uh, credit because too often they sort of boil down to uh, basic drama and, and, you know, stupid emotions. But I think they did a really good job handling this season. I hope they continue to look at The Golden Bachelor as a way to tell a more wholesome uh, sort of uh, uh, chicken soup version of a season and less some less spicy, uh, you know, hot wing style. Um, so anyway, there are the photos we shared. Absolutely lovely. They look great there. Teresa had an idea about what she wants her gown and veil to look like, as well as thoughts about the look of the cake. Luckily, luckily, Gary didn't marry Leslie because if she was going to have a sixty-five thousand dollar engagement dress. God knows how expensive her wedding dress was going to be. The couple envisions long tables with a draped ceiling for the reception. And originally, our idea was to have these cypress trees like you see in Italy. But it's not going to happen at this location. But it's just as spectacular what is going to happen. All right. So she's like, I want cypress trees. And they're like, well, we don't have the budget. She's like, okay, well, if you're paying for it, you do whatever you want. Anyway. There she is. She says she's so thrilled. All of my six grandsons will be involved, and we want to have Henry as the ring bearer, and we're going to have my sisters. They don't know this. As flower girls. They're older. They should be thrilled with that. Oh, fun. That's nice. Uh, Teresa's uh, sisters will be the flower girls. Um, anyway, very fun stuff. You can go check out those articles. I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to have the people's interview. I'll have clips of that on today's afternoon rush hour so make sure you're subscribed to that and we'll have some other content coming you guys right after this